G'day, I'm Warwick Schiller and if you've been following along with all the videos on our foal Bodhi, you would know that um, you know I've been taking things slow with him and I'm really big on the concept of consent, meaning whatever it is he wants to do, he has to almost volunteer for it sort of thing you know like first touch the first time they come up and touch us we're not trying to touch them and then you know he's been a bit of a, a very spooky little fella like you flinked sideways he kind of jumps here and there but he's getting so much better we've turned the tide in the last probably month so he's about four months old now i guess uh, he's turned the tide in the last month or so and i've actually in the last couple of days i've started working on putting the halter on for the first time and recently i posted a video of the first time I picked his foot up, which was in this little pen we've set up in the arena here behind me, so we can, so I can work with him and we can video from up here. But uh, when I posted that um, video and it just showed me picking up his hind foot for the first time, someone said, "Well, I really want to know. I want to really want to see how how it is putting the halter on for the first time." So I put the halter on him for the first time here yesterday, and you know it was not a terribly big deal. Uh, you know I put it on him for the first time and then later on I put it on a few more times and then today uh, it was very easy to put it back on him again and I kind of today I went through a little bit about the days leading up to putting the halter on so I thought you might be interested to see that as well what are you doing hi mister and as a rule I'm not going to approach him if he backs off if he backs off like that and goes oh I'm a little bit concerned I'm going to wait for him to approach me now it doesn't mean I'm not going to just go back and try the same thing again I might go here and here I might bring this halter under here slip it over his nose like that so today is day two of putting the halter on yesterday is the first time I put the halter on him and he's just standing right there for it to go on um, but that little thing I did a second ago where when he wanted to move away I pulled my hands away I did that you know like today today's the second day I put the halter on I put the halter on for the first time yesterday but I did that take my hands away thing for a couple of days before that you know so I would I'd come up here and I would have my hand on that side you know I'd have my hand on that side of his neck then I bring it up on this side of his neck and I bring it up on this side of his neck then I'd bring both in close together like this and if he went to leave I would just take my take my hands away so I, if you look on her I got him good with this I got him good with this then I started getting him good with this and when I first started doing that he was okay till I kind of got here where I've got to get that halter on and he felt a little bit claustrophobic I wanted to pull back away from it so I would just take my hands away and you know I'd go here and then if you got concerned about that the next time I might go here then here then here then here then here then here then I could do both and then I could just um, yesterday was the first time I s scooped his nose up and put that halter on so I said yesterday you know I don't do anything with them with the halter on until they're totally comfortable with it so usually I'll put it on them and let them hang out with it he doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. I know Rupert last year when I first put the halter on him, he kind of shook his head around like this for a couple of days. And so, you know, it's just like anything, like the saddle or the bit or whatever. I don't want to try to teach them anything with something that they're still getting used to. So with him, I'm just going to let him hang out with the halter on. Hey, mister. Um, it doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. So I'm just going to let him hang out with it and I'm not going to try to do anything with it until he's totally comfortable with it and I think he looks pretty good right now anyway so you can see from that that you know he pretty much volunteers to do that he's not concerned about it at all and like I said earlier this was a pretty feely sort of a horse that would be one that you know if you had to kind of get a hold of him manhandle him he'd he'd be thrashing around pretty darn strong or he would be one that would just freeze and act like he was okay and be really really not okay so yeah I'm, I'm happy with how everything's going and um you know like i said the the first and the second haltering were pretty darn easy